Diddy was mad that Mace retired from the game. He quickly chose sides with Loon. When Loon and Mace had a beef, he signed Loon immediately just to stick it to Mace. This is George Tower JT News and MREC with MREC TV. Hit that bell and hit that subscribe button on both of our channels. What's good, Rec? Salute, JT. I'm good. How are you? I'm great, man. So we, we're, we're discussing something. This happened a long time ago where Loon was part of Harlem World. And mm -hmm. Mace was on fire in the 90s. And instead of taking Harlem World to Bad Boy, he took him to Jermaine Dupri and got a deal. Because I, 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 from the story I hear, Diddy wasn't willing to pay as much as Jermaine Dupri was. Yep. So I mean, mm -hmm. it's almost similar to why Biggie took Junior Mafia to Atlantic and started his own label with Undies. Makes total sense. So, uh, you know, they came out with uh, songs with Jagged Edge and everything around 2000. But around 1999, at the end, after Mace drops Double Up, he retires from hip hop on the Funk Flex show. He announces his retirement from hip hop. He's going to become a reverend, right? Mm hmm. And in 2002, we see Need a Girl with uh, Loon and Diddy. He signs Loon. Loon's yep. on the saga continues, right? Yes, sir. So Loon wasn't getting along with Mace at this point. I think Loon felt betrayed by Mace, right? Because he left the game. Mm-hmm. And they was all signed to him. Absolutely. He came out with like stuff home. like this. Need to get around fly niggas feel they gotta be fly. You know what I'm saying? That's basically it. You know what Mace is caught up in right now. He's confused. He thinks the niggas he with is tough. Except it on a lyrical basis. Nigga mother's a God-fed woman. You know what I'm saying? Dude was born in Jacksonville, Florida, man. Nigga moved here mm. when he was about five, six years old, man. Swamp Fox, Idaho, or Sheep Dick doing, but at the end of the day, it's like, man, I'm not gonna play tennis with this nigga but for so long, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's just a matter of time. Loon's talking that shit. Before I just put out that one, it'd be yes, justified, sir. and at that point, Loon. I get off my dick with that mate shit. Because I've been ridiculed and shadowed by this man name my whole fucking career. And that's the point. Loon was really upset because he was being called the fake mace. Mm-hmm. Even though he got Facts. busy on tracks, he sounded a little slow like Mace did on the track. And that, that slow vibe was Mace's lane. That's what Fabulous came in the game with. But obviously, Fabulous came into his own quickly. You know, his first album was a little Mace-like. But then mm -hmm. Fab just got his own groove, you know. And, and obviously, he's one of the top lyricists in the game. Definitely. Right. Fab is he's a beast. one of the top dogs right now. But here's the here's the meat and potatoes of this one here, guys. Diddy fueled a Mace beef. He chose sides. Even though Mace mm -hmm. made him a lot of money, wrote a lot of records for him in the 90s, he said, fuck that. You want to go down and be a pastor? Even though Diddy is a God-fearing man, supposedly. He said, you want to <laughs> be a pastor? I'm signing Loon. He's going to come for your neck, and I'm going to make him bigger than you. Obviously, that didn't happen. Loon only mm -hmm. had one album. And then he got dropped from Bad Boy. Dropped. Gone. Mm. Not Loon's fault, but you know. So you're saying <clears throat> Diddy was behind Loon sounding similar to Mace. No. Like that I'm, was Diddy's I'm, plan. Absolutely not. I'm just saying, because Loon already sounded like that on Harlem World. I'm just saying mm. he chose a side. When he signed Loon to Bad Boy in 2002... It was more to replace Mace. He was trying to replace gotcha. Mace, just like he signed Shine after Biggie died. Exactly. Shine he was, was already trying there. to find a replacement yeah. for for them superstars he lost. Absolutely, and uh, I'm not saying it's a bad tactic, but he chose a side and went against Mace early. Mm. So I, I can dig it. What do you think, Rick? Sounds about right. It sounds proper. All right, well, what do you guys think? Get in the comments, hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, and we'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.